I'm here to show you how to set up your server and do all these plugin stuff, so have a nice day and watch my video and enjoy. Hey you, yes you, are you tired of not being able to set up your shop the way you want it to? Well, today I'm going to show you how to make a shop using item frames and awesome signs. That way it is very easy to buy and sell items like this. Hey, I want to buy some gray ink sack. Click. Oh, look, I just got a gray ink sack. I want to sell an ink sack. Click. Oh, I just sold one too. And you want to know the best part? Stop this from happening to your server. People can take out stuff from your item frames if you don't have the plugins I'm about to show you. So make sure you have them. Now, the first thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to find the Bucket Plugins Frame Protect web page, which can be found down in my description below. Now, once you are on this web page, you will see what it can really do. And this is why Frame Protect is perfect for a shop plugin like Chess Shop, which I will get to next. It allows you to place down an item frame. And paintings also, if, if you're into paintings, you know, who likes paintings? But uh, um, anyway, it basically stops players from being able to take items out and destroy them. And at the same time, it allows players to place down their own stuff like that to be protected. Now, you're going to need to watch my previous video if you want to learn how to set permissions. But basically, you're going to want to have these few permissions. Frame Protect Place and Frame Protect protect and frame protect auto protect these few things will be extremely helpful and you also want to have all you want to have basically all all these right there um, once you do it will be able to allow players to place item frames as well because getting this plugin will stop your players unless you set the permissions so be sure to watch my last video on how to create permissions next you're going to need a second plugin called called chess shop chess shop is a very simple economy chess shop you're going to need an economy with this too but economy you don't require you're not required to do anything i'll leave a link to that below too but chess shop is another shop plugin that allows you to create signs for a shop now i'm going to show you what how you create these signs right now so basically say you have an awesome shop like mine and you want to get you know your frames and you have your sign and say you want to sell a bucket of lava to maybe VIP members for you know whatever purpose necessary a VIP member would need you place that down and it will tell you you have successfully placed a private item frame that means means that you are the only one that can destroy it along with other OP members next you're going to want to place your lava bucket in there now in order to create this it is very very simple and you're not required to set up permissions for chess shop uh, players should be able to buy and sell without permissions you would click you would type admin shop on the first line if you want an infinite shop where anyone can buy from um, you can also, if you have a specific group, you can call it member shop, but then you're required to place a chest and it's not infinite, so I highly recommend it, you just call it chest shop. Next, you want to place the I number of, um, you know, the amount that they would get. Say I only want them to have one, but you can also go with five, ten, one hundred, one thousand, ten thousand but one that's what i'll go with one and say you want to sell it you want to you want members to walk up and buy it for twenty dollars and you want them to sell it for five dollars very easy to do you can set any prices you want 55 sell five two dollars you know you can rip them off by going like 99 nine and so one <laughs> And then basically you would place there's someone asking for help. You would put the name of the item, but I highly recommend you just go and search the item ID because if not, this is going to happen. Say I make up an ID. What will happen if I make up an ID? Boom. But if you just go through the whole process of doing it right, this will happen. 
this will happen. Alright, I don't know what happened the first time, but I'm pretty sure I called an admin shop. Anyway, um, I'm going to get rid of that because I do have memories online and I don't want them buying lava for any purposes. Anyway, what you can do once you have that, you can set up an entire shop however you want yours designed. Um, mine is designed to have a color palette in the middle and all the items on the outside border. Um, coal, cobblestone. Um, it's recommended that some you overprice some of your items, at least the ones that are, you know, that are probably going to be the most useful because I'm a survival server so therefore I have pretty much every item necessary um, and now it's time to show you what you can also set up if you ever feel like setting up your own VIP shop now a VIP shop is usually where a shop sells certain items in the member shop but for cheaper and also sells exclusive items for example, you know, the Enro chest, the enchantment table, anvils, oh, lots and lots of records. Everyone wants records, horse armor, all this stuff. Anyway, you want to sell exclusive stuff, but you also want to sell stuff that members would buy, but for cheaper. And it's very easy to set up the same way. Um, and there is a way that I have it. You, I, you mean, you can put VIP shop up on the sign if your group is called VIP. But I will show you in another video on how to use World Region. Um, but you're going to need a total of three plugins below, along with the ones from the last video if you don't already have them Essentials, World Region, World, I mean, World, Edit World Guard. But other than that, guys, uh, make sure you set up those permissions correctly. Watch my video on how to do that if you don't know. Until next time, guys, have a nice day. Enjoy the video. And if you guys need any help at all, just always message me in the comment section below. And I will be willing to help. And even, I'm not going to say that come on my server and constantly bother me about helping you. Because, oh, I've had that happen. Um, but I will be glad to help you if if um i have the time and nothing bad is happening <laughs> but until next time guys i hope you enjoyed this video have a nice day